Happy April 20th, Star Catchers. I love being here with you. I hope that you are enjoying these devotional times together. Uh, if you ever want to join me, it is at 845 Central in our beer guest room. You are always more than welcome to join me as these recordings are made. It would actually make the heart happy. If you ever know to how to use Zoom to make it go live to Facebook, that would also be something that your director would love to hear. So tonight's devotional. The biggest reason why people give up, why people slow down, or why people don't reach their potential is fear. Fear that they aren't good enough, fear that they will fail, feel they aren't qualified. But God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies those who are called. You see, this is a story of Moses, of David, of Saul, of Noah. The stories in the Bible speak of people who are fearful, people who lack faith, people who were nobodies that became somebodies because of God's plan. Sometimes life is tough. Sometimes we feel like Noah on day 20. We're stuck in the middle of the biggest storm of our life and we don't know what else to do. So we hold onto the wheel and try to navigate to shore. When we place God outside our circumstances or we force on what we want to do, well, or we for focus on what we want to do, then we will find ourselves in trouble. When God isn't in our circumstances, then, then things just don't operate properly. The, mechanic, the mechanisms don't work. But when God gets in the middle of it, it's like pouring oil on a chain. Things begin to flow again. We begin to gain control of our ship and the storm begins to clear up. When we have faith over fear, then fear is no longer an issue. Faith is a backbone of belief. Faith is what keeps you going. Noah reached day 40 as a result of his faith. Saul became Paul through faith. Moses led the Israelites from Egypt because of faith. David helped. David's faith helped him defeat a giant. Imagine the fear that these people felt, the fear of danger, the fear of failure, the fear of change, fear of change. God doesn't call you when you're ready to be called. He calls you when it's time. It isn't always ideal for you, but it's what's necessary. What have you been called to do lately? And how do you feel about it? I truly believe that in these last 10 weeks of our seminar year, God is calling each of us to do more. Um, I truly after our Rising Red recording just a little bit ago, it really struck me that there are people that are seeking. Um, and not because we're so doing all of our goals, but God has these people. My recruiter, I, feel, I finished a goal. Julia's recruiter finished a goal. They never really built their business to all of that and, and then some. But because they were after a goal, they were willing to take on. So what goal are you taking on so somebody else can be catapult? Or maybe it's catapulting you to the future. A um, little quick reminder, quick reminder that tomorrow night we have, Thursday night, we have the recruiting event. Would love to hear you on that, see you on that to help. Just remember why you love being in Mary Kay. And of course, who are you inviting? Somebody could win free products. Somebody could win a free start to be a part of Mary Kay. So love you to the moon. Believe anymore. Thanks for being here for Diva number three. Remember to comment below.